Hey everyone, Reaper here again with another video. My New York Comic Con submissions, CGC submissions, have come back. I've had a few of them for the past couple of weeks, but today the last one came back, which was Eternals number one. So some of these have been in my off to CGC videos, some have not, but I have a total of seven books here that I submitted at the New York Comic Con. And now let's see what grades they came back. Now in my off to CGC videos I made predictions and with two books here in previous videos I don't remember which ones I sort of said what I thought the grade was but anyway let's take a look at the books let's see what grades we got back and I'm gonna do it in a similar fashion the way Patrick and Mike do it I mean I know what grade I got but I'm still gonna keep it hidden for everybody else so Let's start off with this one. Eternals number one. This was a book that I picked up back in 2018, like a day after the after it was announced that Eternals was going to be in part of uh, part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So I paid next to nothing for the two books that I got, and one of them I had pressed last year, and I submitted it to the New York Con. I figured, what the hell? Let me get this thing submitted. So in previous videos, I believe I said I thought that this book after the press would probably be a 9.0. I don't remember what video it was, so I'm not going to show it when I said it, but, I, but I'm pretty sure I said I thought it was a 9.0. So, did CGC agree with me? Did I get a 9.0 for this book? Well, let's see. I haven't mastered it yet the way Patrick and Mike have. 9.0? Nope. 9.6. So I was a little off. <laughs> Um, maybe I'm just a little too conservative when it comes to uh, the grading of my books, but we'll see. There's still six more here. Now, here's the other book that Werewolf by Night 32, The First Appearance of Moon Knight. This was a last minute sort of uh, thing. I wasn't going to get this book graded, but I had it pressed. And I said to myself, you know what? What the hell? Let me get it graded. I'm going to the New York Con. Throw another book in the stack. Now, I believe... In previous videos, whenever I showed this, I think in at least two videos when I showed this book, I said before the press, it was a 4-5. Um, but like I said, right before the New York Comic Con, when they announced, um, I think they announced Moon Knight or whatever, I, I don't really remember the time frame. But I decided to get it pressed, and then immediately after, I submitted it to, at, the, at the con. So, originally I said a 4-5. After the press, I thought it would probably be maybe a 5-5. Five, five. So what did it come back as? Did it come back a 4-5? Did it come back a 5-5? Five, five? Let's see. 7 up. Very happy. <laughs> you know, um, with this book here, being that it was a 4-5 or maybe it would have come back a 5-5 five, five, as I thought it would, I was saying to myself, well, maybe that's going to be a book that I would upgrade down the line. I'm like, well, maybe I got a 7.0. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Now, here are the books that showed up in the Off to CGC videos. Um, most of them showed up in Off to CGC Part 1, and one of them showed off in uh, Off to CGC Part 2. I'll show the clips as, I, uh, as we take the guess. So anyway, we have Fantastic Four, number 48. I believe I said what? I'm thinking that this book is going to come back a 6. I'm hoping it comes back a 6. I said I thought this would come back a 6.0, as you just saw. So did this come back a 6.0? Nope. <laughs> I was off by half a, half a point. So, what are you going to do? Now, the next one. Strange Tales. I know it's kind of awkward to see this paper just covering the title. That's the way it is with most of these. But anyway, Strange Tales 110, the first appearance of Doctor Strange. What did I say in the video I thought this would come back as? Along with it, I think it's going to come back a 3.0. A 3.0. Okay. Let's see. Did it come back a 3.0? Sure did. There you go. So far, this was the first one that I was actually accurate with. Uh, the others, I undergraded and one I overgraded a little bit. So, okay, three more. This one showed up, I believe, in Off the CGC Part 2. I've been meaning to get this thing 
uh, graded for a long time. This is World's Finest Comics number three, the first appearance of the Scarecrow, uh, the famous Batman villain. So, in the video, I said what? I'm thinking it's going to come back a 2.5. 2.5. And I explained why I thought it was a 2.5. So let's see. Did I get a 2.5? Did I get something lower? Did I get something higher? 3.5. Not bad. Not bad. Especially for this book, you know. I mean, it's not a very common book. And it's not necessarily uh, cheap either. Okay, last two. Crime Suspense Stories, number 22, the infamous decapitation cover. What did I say I thought this book, or what was I hoping that this book would come back as? So, I'm thinking that this book is going to come back a 3.5. 3.5, okay. So, did it come back a 3.5? Yep, 3.5. Sorry about the glare. 3.5. I'm very happy. Very happy with this. Um, it was pressed and cleaned, as explained in the in the uh, off the CGC video, and uh, yeah, very happy with that one. And the last one for this for this video, I hope to make many more videos like this in the future, but this is the first of many. Last one, Amazing Spider-Man 129. For those that follow my channel, you know this was the first major book I spent a good amount of money on. You know, I spent 150 bucks on this in February 1994. So I had it pressed. I had this press actually the same time I had Eternals 1 pressed. And actually, I had it pressed well over a year ago. So I've been sitting on it for a while. So when the New York Comic Con came up, I said, okay, it's now time to get this thing graded. And I did. So in the video, I said I thought that this book was what? So I grade it right now at a 9.0. 9.0. It's a high-grade copy for sure. So, what does CGC think? 9.2. So, I think that it, was a, it worked out pretty well. I was a little under with Fantastic 448. Not by much. You know, I was half a point off. No big deal. Eventually, I'll probably sell that book and maybe get something a little lower, you know. But, uh... I'll sell it when the time is right, <laughs> or whenever, I don't know. I haven't really thought too much about it, but I thought that my grading was pretty good. I mean, I was, I was a little off with some of them. I, I guess I was a little too conservative with some of the, the books, but, you know, I was on target with the, some of them, too. So I'm eager to see my next submission, you know, uh, how accurate I graded uh, the other books. Well, thank you all for watching. And I will see you all soon. Take care.